Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Spring System-Wide Virtual Commencement Ceremony of Washington State University. The processional will now begin. Entering the Coliseum and leading the processional is Faculty Senate Chair Dave Turnbull, bearing the University Mace, a traditional symbol of authority. His honor guard includes Curtis Cohen, the Associated Students of Washington State University President and Jennifer Johnson, President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association. System-wide, we will recognize students from the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences with 254 undergraduates, which includes 42 from the School of the Environment, a joint program between the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences and the College of Arts and Sciences with 18 masters and eight doctoral graduates. The College of Arts and Sciences with 633 undergraduates, 16 masters and seven doctoral graduates. The Carson College of Business with 373 undergraduates, 38 professional degree candidates and three doctoral graduates. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication with 169 undergraduates, eight masters, and two doctoral graduates. The College of Education with 176 undergraduates, 33 masters, and six doctoral graduates. The Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture with 291 undergraduates, 25 masters, and two doctoral graduates. The Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine with nine undergraduates, 14 masters, and 11 professional degree candidates. In the first graduating class of medical doctors. The College of Nursing with 52 undergraduates, two masters, and 22 doctoral graduates. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences with 24 professional degree candidates and one doctoral graduate. And the College of Veterinary Medicine with 59 undergraduates, one master's and three doctoral graduates. All will be Cougar alums. Now entering the President's Platform Party made up of Washington State University College Deans, a Regent, the Provost and the President. Gina Vasquez, ASWSU President, Global Campus. Andre Dani Wright, Dean, College of Agricultural, Human and Natural Resource Sciences. Todd Butler, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. 
Chip Hunter, Dean Carson College of Business, Bruce Pinkleton, Dean, the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication, Michael Trevison, Dean, College of Education, Lisa Gloss, Dean, Graduate School, Mary Rizak, Dean, Boylan College of Engineering and Architecture, M. Grant Norton, Dean, Honors College. Mary Coithan, Dean, College of Nursing. Mark Lead, Dean, College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. William Davis, Associate Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Brett Blankenship, WSU Regent Chair. Elizabeth Shelton, Provost and Executive Vice President. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. The National Anthem will be performed by Julie Ann Wick, Associate Professor, School of Music. Please be seated. The Washington State University alma mater, Washington My Washington, will be performed by WSU choral students Kayla Ray, Bryce Weber, and seniors Christina Gomnitz and Jared Peterson. The virtual performance was created by Bryce Weber. Washington My Washington my songs of memory that we sing today. When the sad hours come to you and sorrows round you play, just sing the songs of Washington, the crimson and the gray. Just sing the songs of WSU family and friends, please welcome Dr. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. Good morning, Coug Nation. Welcome and congratulations to our new graduates, the class of 2021. Can I get a big hearty go Cougs? 
I say these words from the bottom of my heart. For you have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history to reach this milestone moment in your life. Graduates, as we gather today for this celebration, I'm inspired by your undertakings and ambitions. You have accomplished much in nearly every academic field imaginable. You have big dreams for the future. We enthusiastically welcome you to the ranks of WSU alumni, and we send you into the world that greatly needs your minds and your hearts. Current events remind us there is so much happening in the world that needs fixing. Disease, extreme poverty, religious strife, sexual discrimination, unimaginable violence. The list is long. But I'm here today to tell you that there are many reasons for hope. The cougar spirit that defines this great university and binds us together is one of the main reasons I feel hopeful about the future. That spirit, reflected by a never say die and a willingness to work hard to succeed no matter the obstacles, bodes well for our own life success and for the betterment of our society. It's a spirit that you, the class of 2021, have demonstrated day in and day out on your path to this moment. It's a spirit I've observed every day for the past five years I've served as WSU's president. It's a spirit of hopefulness reflected in the good work being done by our faculty, students, and staff, by our alumni, and by our friends. The examples of compassion, dedication, selflessness, patience, and kindness I witness every day inspire me and humble me. Without a doubt, the world needs your cougar spirit more than ever. And your willingness to confidently step up and tackle our shared challenges fills me with hope. Hope for today and hope for our future. In my role, I've met many of you and you're absolutely incredible and amazing. Noel and I have had many of you to our house for dinner and receptions. We've taught you in classes. We've cheered for you on stages and in athletic competitions. Interacting with you is one of the great joys of serving as a university president. Am I an optimist about our future? Yes, there's no doubt about it. But I see the world that way because I know how hard this community and all of you, our 2021 graduates, work to succeed every day. The potential is unlimited. As we celebrate today, let us look to each other for continued inspiration in the years ahead. May WSU and the Cougar family continue to be your fountain of hope as we face the future united in spirit. Congratulations, graduates, and let me get a go Cougs, no matter where you are. The WSU Board of Regents is the university's governing body, and it gives me great pleasure to ask the Regent Chair, Brett Blankenship, to the podium. Thank you, President Schultz. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. It is indeed a great day to be a Coug. What an honor to be with all of you today to celebrate your success at Washington State University. A little bit about me. Many of you, um, one, of, one of the best kept secrets about me is I, I was trained as a pianist. So when I was graduating like you, I was a music major. When you're a pianist, you always wind up you always wind up studying Beethoven before you get a degree. And one of the greatest Beethoven artists in history was a fellow named Arthur Schnabel. The question was posed to him one day, how do you play all those notes? And how do you remember all those notes? And he whimsically replied, he said, uh, almost Almost any pianist can play the notes, but it's the space between the notes. That's where the art resides. So the art is not always the obvious part that other people see, but it's the unseen things. So as you choose your path forward in your field of study, you will often be faced with two choices, the expedient thing and the thing that brings you meaning. My hope for you is to choose the path of meaning. Find meaning, and you will find the art that Mr. Schnabel referred to. 
and as you personally define what brings you meeting, other choices will come your way. Being comfortable or growth. Choose growth. Every person on this platform with me today has made those choices. Many had other positions, and they were just fine where they were. They were successful on, before they came here, and they were brilliant at what they did. But a person who always seeks the best has a certain restlessness, and that is growth. So if you ever find yourself getting bored and your job becoming routine, you've stopped growing. Find a way to continue to grow. And sometimes it's as simple as comparing yourself to who you were yesterday rather than comparing yourself who someone else is today. Continue to learn. Continue to find meaning. Continue to seek growth. Do those things. And you won't need to find success. Success will find you. Life then becomes art. And when success finds you, indeed, that is where the art resides. So on behalf of all the regents, past and present, it's my honor to wish you the very best today. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing WSU. Go Coops. Please join me in recognizing our regents and the important role they play in guiding our university. Now I turn the program over to Elizabeth Chilton, Provost and Executive Vice President of Washington State University. Provost Chilton. Well, hello graduates. It's an honor to join you for this historic celebration of your accomplishments at WSU and to welcome you as alumni of this great university. This is a particularly special spring commencement for me since this is my first as the Chief Academic Officer for the WSU system. We plan on celebrating with you again when we can have in-person ceremonies and all are invited to return to attend in person. We look forward to the regalia, the tassels, the graduation march, and the celebrations with family and friends. I imagine that your final semesters at WSU will be remembered as an extremely challenging and stressful time. And I'm sure that you, will, you, that you never imagined that your final months at WSU would include many hours of Zoom sessions, wearing face masks, and attesting that you're not sick or even self-quarantining. We will remember the resilience and the dedication shown by Coogs time and time again I have come to know and appreciate our tight-knit and supportive Coog community, even in the face of challenges, unlike anything any of us have experienced before. I know that you've received a world-class education here at WSU, and your time here has prepared you for your future careers and for your lives. We all know that life is not a straight line, and I am confident that you are well prepared to face all the many twists and turns ahead of you. As you graduate from WSU, please remain your Coog spirit. Even if you're not on campus or in classes every day, be proud to wear crimson and gray. Come back to campus, visit your professors, and cheer on your fellow Cougs. A major part of the university experience is to expand the network of people who are invested in your success. Take heart in knowing that as a WSU alumnus, you are a valued member of an incredible network of people. I hope you'll find that Coogs, helping Coogs doesn't just apply during your time as a student, but throughout your life. Finally, as one of the newest members of the WSU community, I am proud to say to all of you, go Coogs. Now, to welcome the Health Sciences Class of 2021, I am pleased to introduce Jennifer Johnson, President, Graduate and Professional Student Association, 
Nidhi Patel, President, Associated Students of Washington State University Health Sciences, and Doug Wilcox, President of the Washington State University Alumni Association. Jen? Good morning, WC graduates. As President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association here at Washington State, I want to say that on behalf of the GPSA, congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone. It is a remarkable accomplishment especially for you all who have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history. No one thought our final semesters at WSU would include sitting in countless Zoom sessions, wearing face masks everywhere, or self-quarantining. But in continuing to tackle these challenges, we have demonstrated how strong and adaptable we are. I am honored and proud to be, such a, be a part of such a resilient student body. It is a pleasure to speak to all the graduate and professional students receiving their degrees today. You are a part of a special group that has chosen to spend the past 20 plus years in education so that you may help solve the problems of the future. It may not feel like it, but you're all experts in your respective fields. I'm sure your first thought of that notion, like me, is one of terror, but this process was designed to challenge how you plan, how you think, how you work. You have met those challenges and you have endured. You have come out on the other side, able to tackle the most difficult problems this world has to offer. While this is likely the end of school for most of you, do not let this be the end of your education. Moving forward, you'll go on to guide cutting-edge research, you'll advance life-saving technology, you'll fight for social justice causes, and you'll positively contribute to the global community. With your newly developed skills and leadership, I implore you to use them for good. Help lift up those around you who have not been fortunate enough to have had the same opportunities. To the undergrads, thank you for your spirit, your enthusiasm, and your commitment to learn alongside us. To the graduate and professional students, your work and efforts have been impactful. You have paved the way for the next group to continue to make meaningful contributions. My hope for every one of you is that the challenges and triumphs you face during your graduate experience continue to shape and influence you wherever life takes you next. Commencement represents the completion of one chapter and the beginning of a new one just as promising as the last. Enjoy this moment. Once again, congratulations on your academic achievement. GPSA wishes you the best of luck moving forward. Go Cougs. My name is Nidhi Patel, and I've had the pleasure of serving as your Associated Student of Washington State University Health Sciences President this past year. On the behalf of ASWSUHS, I want to extend a huge congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we get to celebrate all of your accomplishments. As your time here comes to an end, your doors to residencies, graduate schools, and careers awaits. Despite how uncertain many of you may feel, you are ready. If there's anything that this past year has shown us, it's just how resilient each of you is. You had to quickly adjust from in-person to virtual learning, and for some of you, that even meant taking exams in your car for better Wi-Fi. You have really set the stage for future classes and for underclassmen to follow your footsteps. Your clinics and rotations were quickly adjusted when the schedules came out. You had to be doing virtual online patient care, but you still persevered. Your persever perseverance and resilience are what we're going to remember. You are undoubtedly entering a world that is completely different from what you had expected originally, but this new world is one that needs you. We know you will continue to persist and strive for greatness. We are and will always be proud of you. Congratulations again, class of 2021, and go Cougs. As president of the Alumni Association, it's my honor to be among the first to welcome you to the Cougar Alumni family, a family that is over 215,000 strong. The next few years are full of promise and opportunity, and having the support of the Cougar family during this time is critical. To get your life after graduation started, we are proud to give you a free three-year membership. The Alumni Association has 54 chapters and clubs across the United States, making it easy to find and stay connected to your fellow Cougars wherever you go. You can find the chapter and club contacts on our website or on Facebook. This vast Cougar network, network wants to help you succeed in your career and personal pursuits. Once again, congratulations and go Cougs. Thank you, Jennifer. Nidhi and Doug. Graduates, families, and friends, this is a special day, a day of celebration. I'm Darrell Dewald. I'm the Vice President of Health Sciences for Washington State University. I'm also the Chancellor of the WSU Spokane campus. Congratulations, graduates. Earning your degree is an amazing achievement. It represents the hard work the perseverance, the endurance, your resilience, and your commitment to this big lofty goal. So congratulations to you. I'd also like for you to recognize investment. 
recognize your investment, your investment in this process. For many of you, this will be the full attainment of your academic dreams. So take a little time and just think about the investment, all of your effort that's gone into this, all the things that you've done, the sacrifices you've made. Next, I'd like for you to recognize the investment of the faculty and the staff who wanted you to succeed. They were here for you. They made the effort, they invested in you. Next, I'd like for you to recognize the investment of the people in your life, family, friends, who knew you could do this. They were pulling for you, they were there for you, they believed in you. I'd also like for you to recognize the investment of the community in the state. Yes, it takes a community to get you to this point in your education. We're all proud of you, but recognize the investment. Finally, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being part of the Cougar Nation, the Cougar community. Here in the health sciences, you have made a difference because of being here and investing in us. So as part of the Coug Nation, I'm just going to say to you, congratulations and go Cougs! Today, we celebrate with a total of 2,263 students participating in the system-wide virtual commencement. There are 30 students from Everett, three from Olympia, 211 global, 1,554 from Pullman, 103 Spokane, 115 Tri-Cities, and 247 from Vancouver, representing 154 different degree fields. The candidates for advanced degrees will be presented by Lisa Gloss, Dean of the Graduate School. I add my sincere congratulations and best wishes to all of the graduates whose accomplishments we are celebrating today. In particular, I want to recognize the tremendous achievements of our graduate students that completed their degrees this spring semester. Pursuing an advanced degree is a life-changing path. This journey is often difficult and stressful, but I hope you also found it to be a journey of self-discovery and growth personally, intellectually, and professionally. Please remember to celebrate that your journey was also important to the growth of the knowledge base, research, and scholarship that will benefit the human race in so many different ways. That's what graduate student scholarship is about, participating in the research that writes the textbooks for the next generation. This commencement is a celebration of the completion of an important phase of your life path. From where you stand now, there are so many different fulfilling paths that you can follow. That is an exciting, amazing vista, but also probably unsettling and uncertain. Don't forget to pause and savor this moment in your accomplishments. You made it. You're ready for that next step in your path. You've shown remarkable resilience, perseverance, and dedication. Earning a master's or doctoral degree isn't an easy time at any time, but you've been successful during some of the most challenging situations that a graduate student might ever encounter as you weathered the many personal and professional impacts of life in the time of COVID-19. I sincerely miss the opportunity to shake your hand, hand your diploma, and share your enthusiasm and joy as you celebrate this milestone. Many of my happiest memories as the graduate dean and as a faculty member are from the celebrations as part of commencement ceremonies. I want to emphasize again, congratulations, and please know that we, the WSU faculty, staff, administration, and your fellow students, we are proud of you. President Schultz, from the Graduate School, I am pleased and privileged to present to you the degree candidates for the Professional Science Masters, the Master's Candidates, and the degree candidates for the Doctor of Education and the Doctor of Philosophy. The College of Nursing, presented by Dean Mary Coithen. Congratulations to our WSU College of Nursing graduates. You have persevered through one of the most trying times in our memory, and you have triumphed. I couldn't be more proud of your persistence, adaptability, and compassion. You really stepped up and were flexible and responsive. Undergraduates, you contributed so much to the community by participating in COVID testing education, and vaccination efforts. 
graduate students, your scholarship and leadership will continue to help us navigate through tough times. I can say without a doubt that the Coug Nursing Class of 2021 has definitely improved the health of residents in Washington and beyond. Thank you again and congratulations from all of us at WSU College of Nursing. President Schultz, I take pleasure in presenting to you the baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Nursing. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Regents and the statutes of the state of Washington, I hereby confer upon each of you who fulfill its requirements the degrees for which you have been recommended with all of the privileges and obligations. Bernice Gielek Bakirchi, Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing, Jocelyn Ludlow, Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing, Jessica Ayala, Doctor of Nursing Practice Advanced Population Health, Sarah Howard, Doctor of Nursing Practice Family Nurse Practitioner. Ji Hae Yoon Johnson, Doctor of Nursing Practice Family Nurse Practitioner. Phoebe Ortman, Doctor of Nursing Practice Family Nurse Practitioner. Suzanne Perrier, Doctor of Nursing Practice Family Nurse Practitioner. Abel Saba, Doctor of Nursing Practice Family Nurse Practitioner. Mary Catherine Sullivan, Doctor of Nursing Practice Family Nurse Practitioner. Sarah Welty, Doctor of Nursing Practice Advanced Population Health. Cameron Allen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Megan Baker. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Meg Bio. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Jordan Black. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Julia Butillier. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Allison Clinton. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Summa Cum Laude. David Butters. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Cassidy Cunningham. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Sage Kale Kalena Diakos. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Savannah Delzer. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Skylar D. Mattis. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Dianaba Drabo. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Class of 2021, we did it. Olivia Dupuy. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Summa Cum Laude. Katie Earl. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Summa Cum Laude. 
Lacey Edwards. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, cum laude. Thank you to all my family and clinical professors that have helped me through this journey of nursing school. It's been a great few years. Go Kooks! Kaylee Elliott, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Marcella Janot, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Ashley Gillis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Avery Hansen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Annalise Harris, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Michelle Hernandez Romero, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, RN to BSN. Alexis Nadiak, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Haley Hostetter, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Summa Cum Laude. Elizabeth Iaprinsa, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Alana Lewis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Yana Lisovenko, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Mason Martinez, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Veronica Mori. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Cum Laude. John McLean, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Stacy McNeely, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Summa Cum Laude. Jonathan Mendoza, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Go Cougs! Leanne Nixon, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Cum Laude. Samantha Olson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Ann Platt, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Preeze, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Cum Laude. Katie Saylor, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Cum Laude. Justin Smith, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Amber Starsman. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Cum Laude. Samantha Stephenson. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Vanessa Tav. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Summa Cum Laude. Caitlin Ware. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Summa Cum Laude. Me Day One. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Magna Cum Laude. Rian Uskaitis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN.
graduates of the class of 2021. You've earned your academic degree and are now officially part of the Cougar alumni family. Congratulations and go Cougs. only fitting we include this great song in our ceremony. One song that unites cougars around the world. Let's join Butch and the Cougar Marching Band in the Washington State University fight song. Go Cougs! Congratulations again, class of 2021. Now go out and conquer the world, but don't forget that WSU will always welcome you back home. We hope to see you soon. This concludes our ceremony, go Cougs. Honor Guard and Mace Bearer, please lead the recessional.